I did the OSCP back in 2019 when I was living in Singapore. And I had this guy, there he is, to keep me company the whole time. It was a crazy experience, 48 hours of pain. I never even imagined that I'd sit a 48 hour exam in my life, but it was a fantastic experience. And looking back on it, it really was one of the best exams I've ever done. So imagine my surprise when Offsec staff slid into my DMs on LinkedIn and asked me to collaborate on this video. That's right, this video is supported by Offsec. Thank you Offsec for supporting my channel, I greatly appreciate it. And I'd like to take a moment just to explain to you, the viewer, what that means for this video. Here is a screenshot from the email about the nature of this collaboration. What they're looking for is my personal and professional opinion on these new features and enhancements that have been made since I originally took the course. Because I'm a paid customer and an InfoSec professional, and whether or not I would recommend it to anyone else. And that's exactly what they're gonna get. Offsec don't get to put words in my mouth. They don't get to request changes after I submit this video to YouTube, none of it. So with that being said, let's take a look at the new OSCP. So this is their new website. Nice, new logo, new fonts, new colors. It's nice and fresh. Inside the library, there's over 1500 videos thousands of exercises and I worked it out. That's about 250 days worth of content. It's a lot of content. And if we go up to courses and content, you can see here you got Pen 200, that is the OSCP. And I'll quickly just show you in the pricing tab, the Learn subscriptions. This, Learn One. So you get a whole year's lab access to one offset course plus two exam attempts. And you actually get more than this. If I scroll down and click on learn one, here you go. So one year's access, two exam attempts, one year of unlimited access to fundamental content. That's really important. For me, when I was taking my OSCP, the fundamental content, I had to go and like figure that all out on my own, which was good from a learning perspective, but I mean, I wish someone had to give me a shortcut to do it. Uh, so to have that is actually a really great thing. You also get Pen 103 and Pen 210, each with exam attempts. This one is the wireless professional exam, so hacking into Wi-Fi networks. And this one is the Kali Linux certified professional, so basically you know how to use and operate Kali to quite an advanced level, like rolling your own distro. So that's what those are. You also get access to the labs and you can download the course material. So all the materials you need, if you want to download it and take it up into the mountains to study, I don't know why you would do that, but if you did, you could. And you might be wondering what the big difference is between the old OSCP and the new OSCP, and there's three big differences. Active Directory being the biggest of them. They've added a whole bunch of enumeration, privilege escalation, and lateral movement. The course goes way deeper on web app pen testing and also Windows and Linux privilege escalation. So those are the big differences and those are a welcome addition, especially the Active Directory one. If you're gonna pen test any company's environment these days, it's gonna be Windows Active Directory everywhere probably. Another quality of life thing is that you now have your own private environment to play on, so you shouldn't really bump into anyone else in these worlds when you compromise a box. You shouldn't see someone else's exploit or run into any issues because of it. So let's jump onto the platform and I'm going to show you around so you can actually see what it looks like on the platform. So when you first sign in, this is what the dashboard will look like. These are all of the new releases. Look, introduction to Burp Suite, the art of crafting shell codes, web services, they're adding new stuff here all the time, it's cool to see. Up here in the top right, you'll see this little VPN download button. You click that and you'll download a VPN file. I already have mine downloaded and just to show you how it works, here's my Kali Linux VM. I'm just gonna press up to bring up the last command. That is the command to trigger the VPN service with that file. When I hit enter, it will connect and you can see it went green up here in the top, which means we're connected to the environment. That allows us to scan machines and play with all the labs and things like that. Okay, so let's go to Courses, Pen 200, 2023 edition. Here it is. You can see I'm 24% of the way through it. 
I've done OSCP before, I know what's different in this course fundamentally compared to the original course, so I'm mostly spending my time looking at the quality of all the material but also the changes that have been made. So here on the screen you can see all of the topics covered on the course. These largely match the headings for the old PDF. And this is nice, you can just browse by topic or you can click on videos and you can watch the videos. And at the bottom of each video, you'll see the text from the video. And you might be wondering why it's highlighting different sections of text. If I click that, it'll actually jump to that section. So if I click play. By executing a standard forward search and passing the domain, see? makeacorp1.com into who And we can click and it'll jump forward. Corp1 contact page. That's really handy because it means you don't have to scrub through the timeline to hunt for that one sentence that they said. You can just click on the sentence in the text. And the person who speaks here, I don't know who they are, but they speak nice and slow and clear in a strong North American accent. I think they'll probably be understood by most people around the world. If you'd like to, you can also speed it up. I preferred it at 1.25 speed for myself probably because I'm more familiar with the material and I can just fly through it. But at one time speed, the default speed, I think anyone who even struggles a little bit with English will be able to understand what they're saying here. Let's just listen. Alan is the IT and security director. We also found the name servers for Megacorp One. See, nice and slow, nice and clear, easy to listen to. And when I put it to 1.25. Assuming we have an IP address, we can also use the Whois client to perform a reverse lookup and gather. It goes a little bit quicker. So maybe on your first playthrough, you'll go at one time speed. And on the second playthrough, or when you're just revisiting certain topics, you might speed it up to 1.25 or maybe even faster. Let's just jump into this section here. Pen testing with Kali, course information. You can see here you get this text area in the middle, you get backwards and forwards buttons at the bottom, VPN in the bottom left, the menu here on the left hand side, and you can just click through all of the materials. You can also leave notes at different levels, so if you want to leave a note specifically on this topic, you click add note. If you want to change it to leave it on, at a course level or on a section level, you can change it and leave a note for that entire section. You can also leave feedback too that the team will get and genuinely the team are really good at receiving feedback. I've fed back a few things about the course that I think could be improved just from a UX perspective and they've been very very supportive and welcoming so if you do have things that you'd like to suggest to them genuinely fill out the box and send it and someone will get it. This is how you request a download of all the materials. You click this request button and you download it. The labs and the exam are here and here. Yay, that was the easiest pass ever. So is the OSCP still relevant in 2023? Absolutely. Would I recommend it to someone trying to get into pen testing? Yep. Would I recommend it to other InfoSec professionals in other fields that just want to increase their knowledge and get comfortable with their hands on the keyboard? Yes, I would. If you want to save 10% on a Learn One subscription, you can use the code GR-10, that's Gary Riddell-10. The link to that is in the description. That code will be active from May 15th, 2023 until June 18th, 2023. I don't get a kickback off of any sales or anything. It's just a 10% code that you can use to make it cheaper.